But what we have here, I'm going to give you, have you guys give a nice warm welcome to the one and only Nathan Hinckley. Hi, I'm Nate Hinckley. I'm a 10th grader at Caledonia Mumford. I come from a big family. I'm the youngest of eight children. Today, the theme is alive, or to have life. And I wanted to share with you my story about the purpose of life. So like I said, I come from a big family. We had a lot of family problems. My dad was very verbally and physically abusive. He never taught any of his sons how to treat women or how to take care of a family. This was only part of the reason that we were so dysfunctional. We were living in sin for a long time, and growing up, I never pictured myself helping others because I couldn't even help my own family or myself. I would often ask myself, what purpose do I or can I ever serve? I didn't know God, so um, I didn't know God at the time, so I didn't consider that he might have plans for me. Now, after my dad left, I was 10. He quickly faded out of my life, and this caused me a lot of emotional pain. I would often reflect on all the stuff that happened in my family, and it would always upset me. But you know what? God put two amazing men in my life that made me or helped me to become the man I am today, but I'll get back to that later. So I was 10, my dad left, and he faded out of my life. Then, one by one, a lot of my siblings left the house and also began to fade out of my life for the time being. Now, it was just me, my sister Emily, my brothers Justin, Christopher, and of course, my mom. When it was just us five in the house, Justin very quickly took the role of helping raise Emily and I. He uh, was only 15, and he became the man of the house. He worked hard, and he bought us food when we needed food. And he also bought us clothes when we needed clothes. Um, Justin is the reason that I do not turn to drugs for my pain today. And he's a huge part of the reason that I am who I am today. When I was 11, we started attending church here at Calvary. One day, my Aunt Gracie came over uh, to see my mom while we were at school. And she says, Roberta, the only way to get your family healthy is through God. So we started going to church. But I still didn't really know God until I was 12. And Justin, Christopher, and I all went to Flower City Work Camp. We owe some credit to John Sigmund for being the one who got us to go. While I was at Flower City, God revealed himself to me. Um, he showed me who he was and all that he was capable of. I was on fire for God, and I wanted to stay with him, mainly because he loved me enough and he cared for me enough to show me who he really is. Sadly, though, I backslid about two months after Flower City. Good thing the flower tree came around. One special night, um, God spoke right to me through Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis called me out, and he spoke to me in front of all the people that were there that night. He told me that I was holding myself back, and I needed, um, and I needed to like, stop holding myself back. He said, Hinks, he said, step out of the boat. And that night, Mr. Lewis said exactly what I needed to hear to get me back on track with the Lord. Ever since that night, I've had this hunger, I've had this craving for this joy that is so amazing, and it's only found through God. This craving for this joy was new life. God had given me new life. God showed me that he really is the giver of life, and that Jesus is the bread of life, and that the Bible is the book of life. Now, with this new life, I love going to church, and I still love going to church. I get to interact with other Christians and worship and serve the best God that there is to worship and serve. People think that you find happiness with God, but I found eternal joy. I found a hope and a direction in my life. Even when it seemed like most of my family had left me, Jesus was always right by my side. My family caused me a lot of pain, but God tells me that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Romans 8.18 says, The pain that you have been feeling cannot compare to the joy that is coming. I want you to know that there is life in Jesus, that you can be alive in Jesus. Just give it all to him. Now back to the story about those two great men. Well, my dad, he was always very hardworking, but again, he never taught us how to treat a woman or how to take care of a family. And that's why I am so thankful for my Uncle Jack and Mr. Cole. These are two great men that taught me the right way to treat a woman and the right way to take care of a family. The purpose of life. I never thought my life would have much purpose, but God tells me that he's got great plans for me. Proverbs 19, 21 says, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. God made me with great purpose, and he did you too. 